Borneo, the third largest island in the world, and home to some of the last pristine rainforests on our planet. The local diet people believe it was made by the sun, and this would include the rich diversity of invertebrate life. The cacophony of noise within the jungle is primarily made up by the invertebrates, of which there is a huge diversity. These are a keystone group of animals, which means that they are crucial for the ecosystem around them. There are gargantuan numbers of species of invertebrates in the rainforest, and for some of these species that live in groups, these numbers can be in their thousands. Ants and termites make up the largest biofauna in the forest. In their massive numbers, ants and termites undertake many of the roles common to the invertebrate world. Commonly, this includes decomposition of organic matter, such as in the case of this mouse deer being decomposed by fly larvae. Just a few days later, barely anything was left to be seen. The invertebrates can also be a food source, such as for these pitcher plants. But plants don't only feed on them, they also exploit the invertebrates for their own reproduction through pollination. Where invertebrates move between the plant's flowers, so their pollen shall be transferred for reproduction. So it's known that invertebrates within the forest are very important. They decompose, they pollinate, they are a food source. The invertebrates have evolved to become key parts of rainforest ecosystems. To understand just how key, we spoke to experts within the field. This Indonesian researcher told us that without the invertebrates, the rainforest could not exist in the way as we see it today. We also spoke to entomology expert Professor Juliette Osborne. So, insects are really important worldwide, particularly in rainforests, for their functions as decomposers and nutrient cycling, but also pollination of flowers and as herbivores as well. So, very important globally um, in all sorts of different ecosystems. The important roles of the invertebrates are therefore clear, and they too must be conserved if we are to protect the last remaining rainforests on our planet.